Every second, 60 pairs of denim jeans are sold. That's about 1.3 billion pairs globally per year. In the past, it would have been difficult to find a garment as widely embraced, worn and loved the world over as jeans. This decade, however, is fast becoming defined by athleisure. And according to today's fashion designers, bloggers and industry experts, the athleisure trend is on its way to establish itself as one of the fastest growing fashion segments by 2020. Everyone from celebrities to the world's leading fashion designers want a piece of this lucrative market. Recently, we have seen active inspired clothes being embraced by more luxury designers from Stella McCartney, Alexander Wang to Beyonce's active wear range for Topshop. Even renowned fashion designer and P&G Fabric Care global fashion consultant Giles Deacon explored the athleisure trend and the fabrics associated with it in a limited edition washable capsule collection revealed exclusively at the P&G Future Fabrics event held in Barcelona recently. The collection that we just shown is um, a, I wanted it to be a, a super energetic, really youthful um, kind of collection with, you know, with, with all the fabrics that we talked about within today's um, event. So very um, um, like polyamides and 3D foams and and, um, and very ultra lightweight fabrics um, that can encompass all the athleisure of trend as everyone's talking about. It was AL as I keep on trying to push it, and uh, you know. It, 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 with the high colour contrast of the prints, the, the surface decoration, the, 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 the reflective, it's, it's, it was a, it, you know, I like to set the R&D team a challenge. It's no use just making clothes for an event like this that we all know that we've seen before. So, you know, I, I, I always like it to be very creative as well, otherwise there's no point. Interestingly, consumers today spend about 4% of their total income on clothes per year. Meanwhile, the global sports apparel market is predicted to grow 24% in the next five years. So what sort of life expectancy can we anticipate from athleisure wear? And what are some of the latest fabric technologies that are being developed to meet the demand of this fashion segment? This is my third year of being the, um, um, the fashion consultant for Procter & Gamble um, Care Division for Fabrics. And um, obviously that's given me a, a, a wealth of expertise. So um, I've, I'm very, very thoughtful now of the, of the care of, of the products that I design. I want, you know, when people are spending good money on a piece, I want it to retain the same qualities as it had when it was designed and made and not to deteriorate quickly and to be cared for and to remain and enhance as best as it can do. It's a two-way street. I have the feeling that consumers on one hand are aware of the delicacy of their garments and have really this first wash anxiety. But once they have overcome that and they say, oh yeah, yeah, it's safe, I can wash it safe. It's like Regis was telling you, we don't, we treat it really as laundry. Uh, and I think that is something we need to, we want to, to step change because it's really important. People do not always understand the impact of high quality detergents can have on, you know, keeping your clothes looking new for longer, you know, and make, make sure that you can enjoy them for a longer period. A recent global survey commissioned by P&G Fabric Care on behalf of Ariel and Downey explored the popularity of the athleisure trend, revealing that nearly three out of four consumers, that's 71%, consider active inspired clothes as part of their normal everyday clothes. If you say that four to five percent of all our income is spent on clothes, the way we treat our clothes is not always as nice as that 4 to 5 percent. So I think there's a huge opportunity for the whole industry to take the caring for clothes much more serious and much more thoughtful in making sure we keep the clothes looking for new much longer. This new trend brings a challenge when it comes to clothing care. Today, 60 percent of loads contain laundry garments other than cotton. So are we investing the same time and money in the way that we care for these garments? 
The short answer to it, everyone, is no. Uh, I'll give you one. The excitement, and everybody knows the excitement when you buy certain garments and dress and whatever it is. You're really excited by that one. And often when it happens that over time, months, years go by, the excitement goes down. How come? Because you were very emotional at the moment of buying. And what we realized and what a lot of people in the fabric and fashion industry realized, that the care for the clothes are not at all in line with the excitement and the emotional experience from the moment we bought the clothes. Part of it is because we've all convinced ourselves that doing the laundry is a chore and is, is terrible to do. Whereas if you really take care of your clothes, if you can make your clothes, for instance, look new for longer, if you would wash your clothes and after three years I still think it's new, that's an incredible element for you in your wearing experience. Ariel is clearly a high quality detergent. So it fits, you know, in, from a price point of view, it fits in the higher ranks. And that's because we are putting a lot of innovation in there. So against a lot of other detergents, we are putting like, like we were mentioning, we are using polymer technologies. Uh, we're making sure, you know, that the machine is not oversussing. So there's a lot of stuff that we are doing in there, higher technologies that gives this extra protection to, to clothes unlike some other detergents who are not doing that. Because you know they are cheaper, so you know there's a reason why they are cheaper. Because they don't have the same technologies in there as we have. We're the company that spends most money on innovation. Because we believe if, for instance, by using a detergent, I can keep your garment for five or 10 years looking like new, that's an incredible value that I offer to you. Consumers are not just following trends, but today we are playing a much bigger role in creating them. So it is only fitting that we give the same amount of thought to maintaining the one possession that plays a large role in reflecting who we are, our clothes.